Let's write the polynomial f of x uh, with the given information. We have uh, zeros of uh, 5 with multiplicity 1, a negative 4 with multiplicity 2, and the degree of this polynomial is 3. So I'm going to write uh, f of x. And using the zeros, I'm going to write down for each zero a, a linear factor. That is, uh, if we have a zero of 5, we write down the linear factor as x minus the zero, that is minus 5. And then the multiplicity is 1, so we can raise it to the power of 1. Then multiplied with the other 0, that is we have another 0, negative 4. So I write x minus of uh, minus 4. And this uh, uh, linear factor should be raised to the multiplicity factor, which is 2. And so this is the polynomial in uh, factor form. However, we will write this polynomial in uh, original form by expanding uh, each of the linear terms. So we have f of x and this equals x minus 5 times uh, this basically x minus of minus 4 is x plus 4 and this is uh, quantity squared. Now I'm going to expand this uh, using the binomial expansion that is uh, a plus b quantity squared and this equals uh, a squared plus b squared plus uh, 2ab. So here I can consider a as x and b as a 4. So when I expand this, I can write this as we have f of x equals, uh, I put the first two factor as it is, x minus 5. Now I expand this uh, x plus 4 quantity square using this binomial expansion identity. So first I put this a square, which is uh, x square. Then I put this b square, which is uh, 4 square. And then I put this uh, 2 times of a times of b, that is 2 times of a is x and b is uh, 4. Now let's uh, simplify the second expression. We have uh, f of x and this equals uh, x minus 5 times uh, this is uh, x squared plus 4 squared is 16. And this is 2 times of uh, x times of 4. So we multiply the numbers first, that is 2 times of 4 is 8. And then 8 times of x is 8x. So this is the expression when you expand uh, x minus, um, sorry, x plus 4 quantity square. Now we have to distribute the x or uh, we have to multiply these two uh, factors. One of them is a linear factor and the other one is a quadratic expression. So let's do that. So f of x equals, first uh, consider this x, the first term we multiply with the second expression that is uh, x squared plus uh, 16 plus 8x. Then we consider the next term which is negative 5 and then multiply this with the second expression that is uh, x squared plus 16 plus uh, 8x. Now let's do the distribution of x as well as the negative 5. So we get uh, f of x and this equals x times x squared is uh, x cubed and x times uh, 16 is uh, 16x and x times 8x is 8x squared. Now similarly let me distribute the negative 5. So negative 5 times x squared is negative 5x squared. Negative 5 times uh, 16 is uh, negative 80. And then negative 5 times uh, 8x is negative 40x. Uh, here I just made a mistake. That is x times of uh, 16 is uh, 16x. And then x times of uh, 8x is 8x squared. So I put this as 8x squared. Now we can combine the like terms. So let me add the like terms. That is we have 8x squared minus 5x squared is 3x squared. So I put this x cube. This is the only term in uh, powers of 3. And then uh, when in the powers of 2, these are the two terms. When we combine or when we subtract the terms, we get uh, 3x squared. Now we look for the x term. We have 16x term as plus negative 40x term. So 16 minus 40 is negative 24x. And finally, we have this constant term, which is negative 80. So therefore, we say that uh, f of x equals x cubed plus uh, 3x squared 
minus 24x minus 80. This is the required polynomial in degree 3 with the given zeros, uh, 5 with the multiplicity 1 and negative 4 with multiplicity 2.